Hello guys, my name is Lutz again, and welcome back to Shadows of Cold Steel 3. In the last video, we completed the the, the quest uh, Raising the Bardius, uh, which pretty much, which pretty much a lot, which is pretty much asking us to, to, uh, okay. do some training with some new recruits. In Bar in well in General Bardius's army, and so, um, and so now that we're done, oh yeah, we also got to fight him. First it was class, first it was the students, and first it was Reen students, and now it was Reen against him, uh, against uh, against the general, and I won. Both both of us did. The story didn't want to show it, but it didn't show it after after the battle, but because they looked ex they looked more exhausted than victorious. Anyway, now we're gonna get ready no. to now we're gonna get ready to go to the North Languedoc uh, Canyon Road to to eradicate a monster, a, a quest monster. So here we go. Just up ahead is where that monster was spotted. They said it was just off the canyon to the north. It's an area with particularly rough ter uh, with particularly rough terrain. Oh, weird. I've never heard of any beasts set uh, setting up camp there. It's a giant monster, right? Let's just kill the thing. We fought two cryptids in, in Crossbell. So this should, uh, so this should, so this could be another one. It feels a lot more, it feels a lot more dangerous uh, than the one we fought yesterday. <laughs> that I'd, that I'd like to see. Is this monster related to the Floromograss? No, they, uh, they should only be in Crossbell. I've, I've never even seen them a couple years. I've never even seen them a couple years ago. Well, all we know is that this is one hell of an enemy. I think we can handle it as a class. Someone will have to take care of it, but uh, uh, but uh, but if you'd rather not uh, not be the provincial army, uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, think about what you want and decide as a team. <laughs> Let's see. Attempt accepting this request. Accepting this quest will allow you to explore the Northern Canyon. In that case, uh, sounds like you're able to tackle one uh, one big baddie. Sarah. Instructor Sarah. Look who decided to crash the party. Like I said before, I've got time to kill while, while I wait for a call from the guild. Any problem if I any problem if I tag along? <laughs> you will? By all means. You kidding? Uh, you kidding? We don't need a bracer. We just might. She's far more skilled than any of us. Yeah, any of the students, not Rain. Well, she was more skilled than Rain was back when he was a student. Yes, but with her, we might not have to do a thing. Hmm. They can't seem to agree. If I may chime in, uh, getting rid of monsters is all part of being a bracer. And if I ever get in the way, I'll just watch. Sound good? Yeah. Just watch from the very beginning. But if we need you, we'll shout. But really, there's something I want to check up on. Like what? Huh? It's your decision, but I, but I would recommend letting her join. It never hurts to have insurance when you don't uh, know what you're up against. It's also a chance for you to, uh, to see the skills of a top-ranking bracer. Her abilities are far beyond mine. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere, my dear. 
I'd hesitate to say I'm far beyond you these days, though. Well then, uh, let's just say I'm still early in my career. I vote to let her come with us. You okay with that, Ash? If that's what floats your boat. I'm eager to see why you're called the Purple Lightning. I'm, e I'm glad you'll be with us. Would you kindly tell us more about your about Instructor Rena's boyhood years? <laughs> I guess that's fine. It sure isn't. All right, off to the canyon. Yeah. What is that part of your private life? Or do you not? Or do you feel? Or do you not feel like talking about it at all? <sighs> anyway, in any event, let's just head out. This side looks uh, fairly run down. I expect it was often used by uh, used at one point. Dunno, but these days everyone just travels by train. Oh, uh, who uh, who would talk all the way? Who would talk all the way to drive from here? Who would walk all the way to drive from here when we've got when you've got wheels? So you can get all the way northwest from here. Jirai's a special economic zone like Crossbell, right? Right. It's a faction. It's a fraction of the size, but it's a bustling city. We need to investigate where that cryptid was last. Where that cryptid was last seen. Oops, got sidetracked. Let's take it. Let's take the map out. Well, I'll take the map out. I haven't gone out that way much. Only time I can think of is when I jacked up some thieves uh, with some friends once. Why were you doing that? Well, the thieves, they just they deserve it. <laughs> I just knew you were a mere child. I I just knew you were uh, you were a wild child. Let's see if you can jack up a cryptid the same way, or have you lost all your moves? You'll see. I got more moves than you pros. <laughs> Good job using trash talk to fire him up, instructor. We will now officially begin our uh, our investigation on on the cryptid. Keep in mind, though, that we can always go back to town and regroup if we need to. Use me and Instructor Sarah wisely to achieve success. Yes, sir. Off we go. Quest to aberration abol abolition abolition. It's hard to say. Quest to aberration abolition started. That's the best I can say it. Let's get going. Go, go. go. Uh, why, uh, why did Altina talk when it was just Sarah in the car? Wait. Hold on. Oh, okay. I already got the, I already got the data, I already got all the monsters in North, in the, I already got the data of all the monsters in North Languedoc Canyon Road, so I'm fine. Oh crap. Oh, that's why Altina was talking. She's behind she's sitting behind Reen. Okay, there's another one up ahead. Ah, oh, treasure chest. Yeah, I can't go that way. Oh. Okay. Here we are. That, uh, that's it. Yeah, it's exactly as described. Its name is Urkganon. Ruinous lightning beast, Urk Ganon. A light, a beast type cryptid. Looks aggressive as shit. Well, yes, but 
Why is there a plum? Why is there a scarlet plum grass here? I thought that plant was unique to Crossbell. Were there similar reports to the Guild's End? Not exactly. I had heard of the Empire's Magic Knights being sighted in Crossbell. Toval and I only figured the opposite could happen too. And you two were dead on. This is really interesting. Not really. We just need to kill the cryptid and do some gardening the, uh, like last time. That's right. This, lo uh, this looks like a new species though, so be on your guard. I'll mm, I'll leave how you, how we approach this to you. Understood. I'm ready. All right. Let's go a. Let's go ape shit. Let's, let's go ape shit. <laughs> yeah. An opening. <laughs> there. It only At hits her. Okay. Wait to yes. me. <laughs> 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 Not today! It's my turn! Huh. It's down! I'll assist. Here I go! Thanks! Thank Very well. Yeah! It's down at once! Okay! Now. My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now! Ah! Ha! Seventh flash! Shredded leads! This is it! Biako. Oh. <laughs> not bad. Thanks. I'm not sure how we pulled it off without you. It it was really strong. We were in more danger than I was estimating. So these were so these are the spiritual plants that were blooming during the independence thing in Crossbell. It reminds me of the spirit veins in the Imperial in the Infernal Castle. Yes, but uh, those are things of the past. So why are these still blooming? Uh, best to get rid of it as we see it. Fine by me. I just want a few samples. Should we inspect the area? Yeah, there there could be more. Go ahead. Would be stupid not to look when it's close to town. Let's split up. The group searched the area for more Puloroma grass uh, before confirming there were n there was none. They they then returned to Raquel with Sarah. And this is where she goes back to drinking. I was gonna stop. I was gonna step in once things were looking dicey, but I was pleasantly surprised by your ability to work as a real team. <laughs> so you so we did okay. We still have plenty to learn, of course. <clears throat> Next time, we'll oh, we'll have to make you do a double take. Hmm. Tell that instructor of yours to keep up the good work. We plan on it. I'd like for him to give us all kinds of new experiences. No, I will not. Combat experiences, yes. Others? You have to find those on your own. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, instructor. 
You really helped us out. Mind if I left? Uh, mind if I left the uh, Scarlet Plumagrass to you? Not at all. You've got your hands full, so I'll so I could take care of it. Good luck with your missions, okay? I'll be at the uh, I'll be at the hermit with the, with a drink in hand, so just give me a shout if you if you need me. And as she's in earshot, she's in, she's within earshot, so don't start talking behind her back. <laughs> Man, she's so cool, and mature. Uh, she and Major Claire show that beauty uh, show that beauty comes in many forms. Sure, if you're into someone who acts like a beer gu uh, guzzling old man. Hey, I can still hear you. And she doesn't even need a hearing aid. Every time I hear a noise, in, uh, every time I hear something in the uh, on my right ear that sounds like a screaming child, I keep thinking it's my uh, cousin screaming, uh, playing Fortnite. Hmm, and the reason for that is because he screams at his friends doing something stupid. You just need to learn to lower. You just need to learn to lower your voice, and to have a filter. <laughs> In any case, we've officially cleared our mission. Excellent work. Thanks. Let's continue with our field exercises. All right. Well, uh, now, <clears throat> now we just, okay, now that we have all our missions complete, we can move on with the main story, so, wait, did we complete all our quests? Yeah. All right, so now let's quick travel to order to the noble district in Ordis. And enter the Cayenne Estate. You're from Thor's branch campus, yes? Lord Eustace told you uh, told us you'd be coming. You may pass, but please be mindful and respectful of the council participants. You came. Did you call for them? Uh, did you call for them? Well, hello again. Green, how nice to see a friendly face. Good to see you again, your lordship. Hmm, my thoughts exactly. My ring. It seems New Class 7 has added a member or two since I've uh, seen you last. But it doesn't look as though you're here for a personal visit. Is something amiss? Allow me to explain. It's, some, it's something of a personal matter, but... Eustace explained how they lost contact with Milliam the night before. Orion's oh, gotten silent? Hmm, I'd heard uh, she was in the neighborhood, but the timing bo uh the timing bodes real uh the timing bodes rather ill. Have you spoken to anyone about this? Yes, both the intelligence division and the railway military police. But neither of them had any information and they told me to follow up if I heard anything. That doesn't inspire confidence. If anything, it just makes things worse. I swear, what could she be doing? Allie. 
We'll handle, we'll handle the, the search for a million from here. The disappearance of an intelligence division agent could point to a larger conspiracy. <clears throat> Placing it right in line with the rest of our missions. Any objections? Not a one. It's distressing to think that this could have happened in a place like this. Let's make finding Milliam our top priority. Really? Thank you, everyone. Sure, we could say that, but how the hell are we supposed to find her? The city's stupid big, and you're and you're not giving us Jack to start with. Ash, think about who you're talking to. It's fine. If you're looking for clues, start Nordis. It seems as though she found a lead there yesterday. <clears throat> I was eating something uh, really tasty when I got some uh, even more delicious info. <laughs> that certainly sounds like Milliam. That's, uh, that's good enough to start with. I'll call you when we find something. Or not since you'll be dealing with the council. Hmm. I'll make arrangements so you can contact us even while the council's underway. What, are you, uh, what do you want? <clears throat> it, if it isn't Marquis Ballad. What a pleasant surprise. Oh, Marquis High Arms. Lady Angelica. Hello. <laughs> Look at this. The four great houses united once more. Oh, that's right. Uses Patrick. I thought you should know that the Brigadier General requested the deployment of soldiers to the canyon, but I shut him down. You did what? There are multiple Jaeger Corps engaging in open combat in the area right now. What were you thinking? Bah! Whatever happens at the canyon is of no concern to the people of Ordis. Besides, we should avoid any unnecessary military expenditures uh, during the Imper uh, Imperial Provincial Council. It's not like I'll be traveling to Raquel uh, during the council anyway. Did you really just say that out loud? Can't believe him. What's more, the provincial armies operate at the discretion of the Imperial government. Why shouldn't they focus on protecting me and the other nobles here? <laughs> Uh, the, that barbarian should thank uh, his lucky stars that he even gets to stand in the presence of such greatness. More like such discrepancy. Or... Hmm. How dare... Your lordship. The family of Baron... Uh... The family of Baron Bardius has long been held in the highest esteem in Sutherland. I would ask you to refrain from making such comments. Well, clearly I was uninformed. But this brings up another concern. Isn't our obsession with old nobility, old nobility preventing us from getting in touch with the modern world? What? Hmm. Which leads me to my next point. I've been talking with members of the Imperial government about the future. We have uh, we have Argon Mine operating at full capacity, and have already complete uh, completed the development of four railway cannons. Wait, really? Is that true? It is. It seems they're supplying the Imperial Army. I'm not a fool like my nephew Kror. I look, uh, I look at the trends, and uh, look at the trends. Then I act quickly and decisively. Let's just hope that other members of the Council can do the same. <laughs> he, he's just the worst. Uh, you should uh, you should tell him you should tell him as much uh you know you should tell him as much you know I'm afraid we uh, I'm I'm afraid we don't have much I'm afraid we don't uh, quite have time but we need to look for Milliam 
Marcos High Arms, Angelica, Jesus, Patrick. Good luck with the council. Thank you. It seems we will need it. The government won't serve one man's self-interest on our watch. We'll take care of this. Find Milliam. And do be careful. So what's the plan? Seems like Milliam engaged to gather uh, important info while snacking her way through town. Well, yeah, she's the child version of. Well, does she? Uh, she's snor. Of course, Milliam is a Snorlax in, in a little girl's skin. She's always looking for new food to try, even if I ask her to focus on her mission. There's clearly a method to her madness if she regularly manages to uncover such a valuable information. In that case, uh, why don't we follow in her footsteps, visit some famous restaurants around the city. We should check the food stalls uh, set up for the summer festival too. Any recommendations, Muse? Let me think. Well, the food stalls should be uh, should have started running yesterday, and all and of those and of those, Granny's ice cream in the commercial district is supposed to be the best. Good to know. Ice cream sounds very milliam. There's also the Sea Breeze Tavern in an inn to the north. Uh, their bu uh, their Buella Basse is famous uh, for uh, for capturing all all the flavors of the sea. It sounds so tasty. One whiff of the scent and she'd be drawn right in. Oh, and we must uh, oh, and we mustn't forget about Miranda, a tavern, uh, a tavern in the harbor. One, uh, some people travel travel to the seaside for the owner's crispy fisherman's po uh, poile, uh, poile alone. Damn, just hearing about it's making my mouth water. Any one of those places could be a likely stop for Milliam. All right, we've got a plan. Let's start with those three stores. Roger. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> of course, all she's been talking about is restaurants and food. First, let's start at the Sea Breeze Tavern. Sorry. Hey, welcome. Are you here for lunch? Have a seat wherever you'd like. Um, excuse us. We wanted to ask you something. Oh yeah, that app has Milliam's p uh, profile picture on it. We're actually looking for someone. Have you seen this girl? Green showed him a picture of Milliam on his Ar on his Argus too. Oh, this is this the girl that came around 3 p.m. yesterday? She ordered a Buella Bose and had seconds and thirds. Oh, jeez. She's a fat ass. <sighs> Sounds like she's quite the gourmand. So did she, uh, so did she say anything? We appreciate it. We'd appreciate it if you could tell us anything. Oh, is she lost or something? Come to think of it, she did ask me something interesting. Something about ruins from the Dark Ages around this area. Ruins from the Dark Ages, huh? Yeah, she asked for something more uh, more inland, so I had to think about it. But at the very least, I couldn't think uh, I couldn't think of any of anything near Ordis. And she seemed satisfied, then paid and left. Satisfied, huh? Thank you. This information was very helpful. Sorry for not ordering anything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, come by whenever you want to give it a shot. I'll hook you up. Business district. <laughs> oh, 
Welcome to Granny. Welcome to Granny's ice cream. Our famous recipe uses local milk and vanilla beans from Orid. We also have a special flavor exclusive to the summer festival. Try whenever you can. That's a weird grandma voice. I've got to admit. I've got to admit it. But that's the best I can come up with right now. Oh, so that that oh that looks so good. Uh, no, that's not what we're here for. No, we're actually looking for someone. Have you seen this girl? I think I have seen her. That's the girl who ordered a five scoop ice cream yesterday afternoon. William's going to get fat. Can you can you blame her for indulging a little? This place is so delicious, it's hard not to. Did she mention anything, ma'am? Where was she uh, where was she going? Or where was she going? Or perhaps what she might have been looking for. Now now that you mention it, she asked me about the island ruins. Island ruins? I see. Do you think? Ah, uh, over there. I want to recommend it. One step and you're dead. <laughs> I'm joking. It's saying dead. It's saying uh, dead. Uh, it's saying dead. Uh, this ain't dead island. You can see the island yourself from the coast. It's uninhabited. No, well, not anymore, because Millions on it. <laughs> now people used to live there a long time ago. Nowadays, nowadays, you'll see, still see some visitors going to explore the old ruins, altars, and the like. Altars? Okay, now, uh, now I think I'm getting it. I imagine these ruins have something to do with Ortis's history of animism. I suppose I have heard some uh, talk of the island around the city, though I'm afraid I don't remember any specifics. Wait, could that be where Group B went on their field study uh, two years ago? Thank you for the information. Also, could we get six ice creams? Oh yeah. Wait. Are you treating instructor? You bet. Get whatever you want. I'll take you up on that offer. I'll never turn down free ice cream. Yeah, except it's not free cuz Reen's paying. Thank you for treating us. Are you aren't you sweet? There's a there's a little something extra on the house. Eating the special ice cream restored everyone's CP by 100. Why 100? Why not 200? Thank you, Grandma. You're very welcome. Come again. Alright, last but not least. Miranda's Tavern. Huh? Students? Are you here for lunch? We're here on a quick errand. Oh, we uh, we want to ask you something. We're actually looking for someone. Have you seen this girl? She came here yesterday afternoon. I remember because even though she was small, she finished our special poilé. Dang, the whole thing? It's kind of unfair how she doesn't get any weight. Yuna, that's not the issue at hand. Well, obviously, because of her... high. That's because of her... Um, that's because of her metabolism or something. Yeah, she doesn't get fat because of her metabolism level. Did she, uh, did she, ask, did she ask you about anything? It could be anything. Do you remember? Ask me, huh? 
She asked about the conditions of the water recently, and how the time of the day affects the waves. That's... What were the conditions like last night and this morning? Well, about the time of the summer festival, it's actually pretty calm, which is why w uh, we're able to have so many fires in the bay. Le uh, last night and this morning were, uh, were really calm. I see. Thank you. Smells good. I'll come back to try some. Once you find her, bring her back with you. Right, like we're not planning on it. That's the third clue. We've gathered some good intel. Right, we should be we should have a better idea of where she was going. Why not organize all the info we've gotten so far? Uh, first, let's look at all the place all the places we vi she visited. Uh, good idea. It it isn't hard to figure out the order in which she visited them. We can bu we can use both the info and pl but we can use both the time and place to narrow down her final destination. Let's do it then. I think it was this order. If we compile all the information we have on hand. Uh, yeah, it's all coming, it's all starting to come together. Million became interested in the island just offshore. She then went around to confirm if there were any ruins on no inland on mm, any ruins of no inland had came up empty. After that, she went to see if the sea was calm enough to cross, and it, it was upon confirmation that she crossed them alone last night. Yeah, all of that makes perfect sense. But why did she, uh, but why she decided to go there is still a mystery. It doesn't appear to be on the orders of the Intelligence Division, either. It's possible that it has something to do with the old Class 7. So, uh, some of my former classmates actually went there during their, field ex during their field studies. For real? That's a funny coincidence. Our class was large enough that we- was large enough that we'd split into two groups, A and B. I was part of uh, Group A. Fee, Laura, Elliot, and Machias were in Group B, and stayed on that island for a couple of nights. I'm sure Milliam knows the story, even if she wasn't part of the other class yet. She might have taken an interest in what we did. That could be it. <laughs> then, aha, uh -huh. then everyone in Group B's uh, seen the Guardian? What's that? Yeah, I have no. Uh, yeah, I got no clue what you're talking about. They did. Uh, they did. Yeah, that's a. There's a gigantic statue somewhere on the backside of the island. Really gigantic. About a hundred arch tall. A hundred arch tall? That's extra. That's extraordinary. I really can't picture it in my head, but is it uh, like the size of a skyscraper? I've heard of it. I've heard about it for sure. <laughs> I've heard about it, of course, but I've yet to see it. Anyway, let's go ta let's go talk to some people on the at the dock. Good idea. The clerk about the clerk from yesterday might uh, might know something. Yes, okay. Uh, yes, instructor. Let's get a move on then. By the way, uh, what's that island actually called? Oh yeah, I don't know it either. There should be an official name, right? Yeah, surprised I didn't say it earlier. It's called uh, it's called Briona Island. All right. Now let's go to the Harbor District and talk to Eston. All right, I'm already at the Harbor District. <laughs> I actually forgot.
Oh, it's you guys. Thanks for yesterday. Need something from me? Sorry to bother you, but we want to ask you something. Have you seen a girl who looks like this uh, either yesterday or today? Oh, she's cute, but I don't remember seeing her. And we closed that night, so uh, if she's uh, is she missing or something? Yeah, something like that. Hmm, I thought we might find something around here. Can't that little girl get on that white thing like that? Uh, like you? Yes. She should have no problem with flying to that island off the coast. Then, may then maybe she didn't use a boat at all. Huh? I don't get what you're talking about, but did you say something about Briony Island? If that's the case, the professor might know something. The professor? Speak of the devil. Sp oh! Speak of the devil indeed. Oh, wait, isn't he? Did you, uh, do you know him? Hey, Professor Lumen, how you doing? Professor Lumen. Oh, it's you guys. <laughs> what a coincidence. I didn't expect to run in I didn't expect to run into you here. It's good to see you. The last time we saw you were oh, was at the boathouse of Crossbell. You are students at the branch campus, right? I'm glad to see you're doing well. Oh, it looks like you have uh, you have a fresh a uh, few fresh faces. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. You met uh, you met uh, you meet this guy during our fi last field studies or some during our last field exercises or something. Yeah, Professor Lumen is a professor at the uh, at the Imperial Institute. Oh, he must be quite the academic then. This guy is supposed to be a teacher. He sure ain't dressed like one. Ash. <laughs> it's fine. It's true that my getup is a little dirty after my field work. Field work? Where? Briona Island, right off the shore. Uh, I left early in the morning to examine the geography and just got back. And I just got back. Th that's perfect timing. Oh, what's going on? I'm sorry to bother you after a long day's work. But could we ask you something? Reen moved somewhere else to ask him about Milliam. Hmm, this girl. She talked to me yesterday afternoon right here, actually. But really? Yes, I was measuring the topography in this area of the bay. I was investigating the relationship between the shore and the island. She talked to me here and asked me about the history of the island. She left an impression on me given that she seemed very knowledgeable for her age. Sounds like her. <laughs> so she went back after that and then flew over there at night. <sighs> that girl. Professor, did you happen to see her on the island? I was there since this morning, but I was uh, too preoccupied with my survey. The, uh, the island is fairly big, so I may have simply overlooked her. Well, there are monsters on the island, so if she is there, she may be in danger. You're right. Oh, seriously, she, uh, she's an old class 7 member. She's fine. Then she's part of the intelligence division. That's another reason for her, uh, for her to be fine and not to worry about her. We need to go look, ap we need to go look for her. We can rent a small boat from here, too. Yeah, once we're ready, let's head over there. Thank you, Professor. Hmm, I'm glad... Hmm, I'm glad I could help, but, no, but now I'm worried. If you're going there, take this. I noted the areas that collapsed. You won't be able to get through. The group received a map of Briona Island. Thank you. Good luck with the good luck with your field work. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to head back to the inn now, but I will be see you around. The boat uh, the boat ride is a the boat ri the boat ride is about thirty minutes. Be careful. Now goodbye.
We should get ready and head back. Uh, we should get ready and head out. Yeah, we better be. Uh, we better be well uh, prepared just in case. After that, Reen rearranged us a uh, rent uh, uh, to rent a small boat. That's the one the professor used, isn't it? Alright. Alright, well... Let's head over there. There's a small- there's a high likelihood that Milliam is on Bri Brionia Island. We should be well prepared if we're going to head over there. Please note that all quests and subquests uh, you have yet to complete will disappear once you head to Brianna Island. Juan, we gotta check first. Okay, we're good on these. And we're good on these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good. Rain and company used their Arcus 2 to update everyone else about the situation and headed over to the island on the boat, with Yuna at the controls. And on we go. And off we go. 30 A half hour later. Oh! Looks like Class 7 has some new faces. Oh no, Azure but Siegfried. This will probably be the end of them. It's foolish of them to go to that island. Yeah, except that. Except. They're gonna go anyway. They don't care. They're strong enough to look out for themselves. Azure Siegfried. The eastern winds are blowing. Yes, they are. All right. How does she know? Where did she learn to drive a boat? Brianna Island is, is around 150 selge offshore. We'll need to circle just outside the bay. With a small boat, uh, that'd be 20, that'd be 20, 30 minutes at the, that'd be 20, 30 minutes at the longest. Our Gitla moves at about the same speed. So she flew across the sea overnight. You think she might have drowned? <sighs> Don't say that, stupid. The weather was pleasant yesterday, so the sea uh, should have been calm. Instructor, can Milliam swim? Yeah, pretty well as uh, as it happens. Hmm, I'm sure she went to the island there, Gitlam. <laughs> My bad. The intelligence division is so strange. All of it, uh, all of it. Major Elector, Milliam, and even you, Ali. Info on Clum Celeste is all classified, isn't it? It is, but that's uh, but that's not why I haven't uh, told you anything. The most I could say is that Clum Celeste and I were part of a workshop. Beyond that, I don't know. My, mem my memories were erased. Huh. I didn't realize. Hey, hey, hey. The hell is this gloomy shit? It's just as complicated for Milliam. The place is called the Black Workshop, and it's affiliated with Ouroboros. It now also appears to have ties to the Imperial government. The fact that the fact that fact is so under wraps that even the intelligence division isn't aware. Indeed, Milliam and Major Arundel have no idea. It's most likely only one per 
It's most likely only one person knows of it. Chancellor Gilead Osborne. A man with enough power to head the Imperial government uh, while founding the Intelligence Division and the RNP. I've been acute I've been acutely aware of him of late. He removed the Vander family from their post before sending my father my brother and father to the outskirts of the country. He also led the annexation of Crossbell. He's something. <laughs> yes, something. <laughs> Major Claire and uh, Major Claire and Milliam are called the, his Iron Bloods, right? Oh yeah, pretty sure they're fa pretty sure they're famous. Uh, pretty sure they're famous. Uh, pretty sure they're famous. Arundel and the Governor Generals are the uh, Governor General are Iron Bloods too. Correct. They're grouped direct. They're grouped directly under the Chancellor. I don't know about Major Lecter, but Million was taken in by him uh, from the Black Workshop. That's a little different for me. I was loaned by the Black Wor I was lo I was loaned by the Workshop to Lord Rufus. I was then told a little more than than I was to be used uh, for the Noble Alliance for, uh, for the Noble Alliance's purposes. Ali, little rabbit uh, here ain't shy about dropping bombs. Dumb. It doesn't matter. We're classmates as much as we are friends. And, and seeing how long you two have been in his class, I'm sure you, I'm sure you have some steamy stories about our hunky instructor. You're so weird. Hmm. Nothing steamy. There are some relationships, but not steamy ones. We're close. Yeah, you know, keep your eyes on the water. The original, th the original, th mm. the original says keep your eyes on the road. But this one, but since they're in the ocean, it's keep your eyes on the water. Alright, here we are. Bryonia Island. Uh. Bryonia Island. <sighs> so this is Bryonia Island. Now this place has a crazy... Wow, this place has a crazy vibe. Oh, well, the island does stand as a testament to, uh, to animism. The altar sh uh, just serves to make the, uh, that more apparent. That's right. The warshippers often come to a visit just after the summer festival. I'm guessing that's the inn the old man mentioned. Yeah, where my oh yeah, where my former classmates stayed on their field study. There's a possibility Milliam stayed there too, so that so that should be the first place we check. It would be a good place to, uh, to set up a repeater so we can communicate as well. So, uh, so would the altar and the guardian too. That's the map. I suggest we search the island's perimeter. Though I'm afraid I don't know how long that might take. An island of this size should only take us about two hours. Uh, still, we need to keep an eye an eye out for monsters. Stay on your guard. Right. Didn't think I'd end up searching uh, some deserted island today. Never a dull moment with Class Seven. Well, guess that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.